So now we'll use all four fingers of our left hand to make music. Come to playing position. Gently hold the violin with your palm facing you. Turn your hand in towards the fingerboard. Place the first finger down. On the A string, the first finger is a B. A whole step away is your second finger, the C sharp. Now the third finger, remember, is a half step away, a D. And now we're going to put your fourth finger down another whole step away, and that's an E. So. Now, if you remember from a previous lesson, that E is the same note as your open E string. So the fourth finger, one, two, three, four on the A string is an E, which matches your open E. They are the same note. And that works on all four strings. So now we're going to start with the G string and play all the way through. And we're going to play the fourth finger. So G, A is your first finger, B, C is your third finger, D is your fourth finger. And that's the same note as your open D. So D, E, F sharp, G, A, the fourth finger, the A is the same as your A string, A, B, C sharp, D, E, which is the same as your open E string. And the notes on the E string are E, F sharp, G sharp, A, and B. We're going to play a song now using the open E and the fourth finger of the left hand. Let's start by playing London Bridge Pizzicato. One, two, three, and four, and... Now grab your bow, find your good bow grip, and let's play London Bridge with a beautiful, long, legato stroke, and make sure you pay attention to your elbow level. One, two, three, and four. And... Before we end this lesson, let's take a look at another angle of the fourth finger position on the left hand. When I have all four fingers down on the string, notice how each finger has a beautiful curve to it. I play with the pad of each of my fingertips. And although my fingers are firmly on the string, I'm never squeezing and never grasping the violin. My hold is always quite gentle. Wrist is straight, palm is turn, turned inward towards the fingerboard. This is your proper left hand position. 